This is Fox 26 Morning News at 9 a.m. Connected to you. Fox 26 is your Black Friday station, and if you're spending part of your holiday doing a little online shopping, there are some new cyber dangers out there you should know about. We're going to help you navigate through them with the help of Michael Gregg, an ethical hacker. Good Hi. morning to you. Good morning. Love the title. Thank you. You have a lot of tips for us, and we were just talking during commercial break, and I'm, I'm just shocked at some of the things that are going on out there, so I'm glad you're here to talk to us. Let's talk about social media, first of all. How can you help us there? With social media, one of the big problems is many times people will send you what's called a tiny URL. URL. So it's what they actually use to reduce the size of the URL, makes it very easy to send, but it can also be used by an attacker, and they hide the information. So you can't see where you're actually being redirected, which is to a malicious site. So what do you do? What you want to do is use something called a URL expander, which will actually show you where that URL is actually taking you before you go there. What about cloud hacking? What does that mean? Cloud hacking. So many times today you'll see the commercials and they'll say, let's go to the cloud. Mm -hmm. So you can use uh, online storage, uh, online access for files, documents, different information. So what actually happens is if you're not careful, like for Microsoft Live and other services, you'll see these requests and one will say, hey, let me friend you, uh, you know, let's uh, uh, get some type of contact. And when they do, they get access to your cloud information. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you don't put some sensitive information on the cloud and also if you do on one of these cloud services don't put anything that uh, would be a problem if it got exposed or leaked out. When you talk about sensitive information are you talking about the the obvious like a social security number or even an address what, what are you talking about there? For me it would probably include address, personal information, information about my kids, my family, those types of things people might use for identity theft or credit card fraud. So you want to keep it just very basic yes. make sure you're protecting yourself because you just don't know what's out there. All right let's talk Talk about botnets. I've always heard about this, don't necessarily understand it. So walk us through what that means and how we can protect ourselves. Now botnets, botnets are one of the primary attack problems today. They're one of the big problems. And with the botnet, what they actually do is uh, you get infected with uh, from some site you visit, from an email, and then it'll usually target things like credit cards or uh, bank information. You don't know when you've been infected, so it can just be sitting there gathering some inf private information about Private it? information. And many times what they'll do is they'll alter a web page. So if you go to a bank site, you'll actually go to your bank site and they'll add an extra field in there. So it'll say enter your PIN number, enter your uh, maybe social security number, and it looks legitimate. We have an example to give you an idea of what this looks like. Exactly, and you notice on there where they have the arrow actually pointing. That shows one that's been infected by a bot or some malicious code. So you go up to the site, it looks normal, but now there's this added field in there. Mm -hmm. And maybe you think, well, the you know company has just changed something about it. But if you put that in there, it's immediately sent back to the attacker. They have that information. Now they access your bank account and steal your money. Ah, so you've got to make sure that you are on a trusted site before yes, you put yes, anything like that. And yes. if it looks odd at all, check it out. Keep looking into it. Do some homework. Check it out. Also call the financial institution and ask them if they're actually asking for that type of information. Also make sure your antivirus is current, up to date, and run it and, and see if anything comes up on your computer. So many times when you see those antivirus things pop up, I never even know if they're safe. It's like, well, do I really renew? Is it really time? How can you know if that's safe as well? It's hard to tell. Usually what you want to do is stick with the known brands and stick with the known types mm -hmm. because unfortunately there's things called fake software and fake antivirus where it really doesn't work at all. They're just trying to get you to download it or buy it where they can get your money. Well, you have so much good information to share. I know that there's even more to talk about. And Friday, Michael will be back to talk about the 12 scams of Christmas. He's going to help protect you. Make sure your holidays are brighter. Thank you for being here. Thank Great you. information. Appreciate your time today.